Hi, Susan. Are you there? I am. Yes, fantastic. Where's your beautiful face? Uh, where's my face? Go down to the bottom left and it says video. You might oh. have it turned off. Okay. All Yay, right. there you are. Hi, Good Thanks so much for coming on, Susan. Oh, thanks for asking. It's great to be here. Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for my for my fans, my two fans. Uh, this <laughs> is Susan Gallagher. She's a producer, actor. You formed, let me make sure, her Little Red Productions in 2014. Yeah. Wow. I got a chance to look over all your work today. I'm like a little nervous because I was like super, super impressed. I'm like, I real ha I have a real, uh, a real, uh, celebrity on my show today. You didn't know what you were getting yourself into. Right, right. I I'm just honored to be here. Thanks so much, Susan. So you play a, a bunch of diverse roles. I was really impressed. I saw the Lifetime. I saw the Homeless. I saw the Gangster Lady. <laughs> I love character, uh, different types of characters. I just think that it's it's, it's so rewarding to be able to have a role that you can sink your teeth into and have a lot of fun with it. And, and I, I've really tried to focus on that the last few years and mm -hmm. just really putting it out there and doing a lot of independent films and short films. And, um, you know, it's been paying off a little bit, Dina. So I'm grateful for that. Yeah, you're definitely not typecast. I like, I'm like, you just do your thing. I love your little Southern accent as well. You're from North Carolina. I am. I am. And you're from New York. And, and I, I love New York. I live there part of the time. I'm actually, I'm normally there this time of year. So I'm, yeah. I'm missing it. Yeah. I actually live in LA, but I came home. My mom's not well. So I was in Manhattan yesterday. Okay. Where but it's kind of a mess right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is she, is she up on the Upper East Side, Upper West Side? No, or? mom's in New Jersey, but I just take the train over. I go back and forth to the beach. You see, I look like uh, a golden girl. I'm so tan. I've been staying out at the beach. I saw you, uh, I was looking at one of your recent interviews and you, you had on a sleeveless top and you were so golden brown and I was very- Golden brown. Yeah. I got to stay out of the sun. Yeah, you look great. Oh, uh, thanks. You, you too, you too. So you studied in Manhattan. At, I did, and I the studio. With Lena Jasper, if you know her, she's on the Upper West Side, and I do. Uh, yeah, um, she's she's not only been my acting teacher for many many years, but she's my mentor. She, um, you know, she's too young to be my mother. I tell her, but when, when I'm in New York, I actually stay with her. Wow. And, um, and so she was I, born in 1939. I read her whole bio. I just love the rabbit hole. You know, for amazing. Yeah, yeah, she is amazing. And she changed my life as far as um, acting. And um, is Does she teach a technique, a certain technique or? Um, not really. I mean, she studied with uh, Stella Adler and, wow. and she's a big fan of Chekhov. Yeah. But um, she, she was a wonderful stage actress herself on Broadway and just had a passion for teaching. How did you find her? I found her through... Um, gosh, what is the name of that, uh, that school? Ah, uh, was yeah. it in the city or LA? No, it's in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they would kill me. I just oh, to that's all right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. No, that's okay. That's okay. But anyway, I was in an acting class there. It seems like it's hurts something or another, but anyway, um, I was in an acting class and yeah. I really loved the work of this, this one actor. And I went up to him after class and I was like, you know, what? What, what are you doing? You know, you are like on a completely different level. Wow. And he told me it was Zena Jasper and she had a class in New York City and on the Upper West Side for 40 years. Wow. And she just retired from having that regular weekly class. She's, she's yeah. 80 years old now, but she's yeah. the coolest and healthiest 80 year old woman you'll ever meet in your life. Thank God. Yeah. Um, but she still has private students and does some coaching on the side um, and just as wonderful and active as ever. Oh, that's amazing. Wonderful news. And you stay with her when you go, when you act, when you study and you, and you shoot and things like that. Yeah. We're very How excited. exciting to have a mentor like that. I know. I feel so grateful, but I haven't seen her and, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, would you like me to check on her? No, <laughs> please do. I will. It would make her whole week because she doesn't have any children. I will she, check on her. She has her little dog, Misha. And, um, you know, in, in her, 
acting students have been her children. So she's still in touch with a few of us, but she, I mean, you know, and she's outlived most of her friends. When you know, we get off here, you email me her privately and her, and I promise I will go over and I'll take a video and, and make sure that you, a live video for you so you could say hi to her. She, she would love that. Yeah. It, and it, you too. I'm, I'm sure you, you too as well. It's for you. Thank you. Thank you very my much. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure for sure. For sure. So I watched Val. I watched all your videos. I, I, I just went down the rabbit hole and yeah. Val was great. <laughs> it was so comedic in the end. You were so good. <laughs> what? Well, how fun, right? So what? fun. The whole cast. Did you see any of the other cast? Yeah, I mean, you think it's going to be so dramatic, and then she runs in the room. Oh my God, you're so famous. <laughs> Poor daughter. Oh my gosh, Sophia Grasso is amazing, and Diana O, oh, and the whole New York team. Wow. Is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And, Phenomenal. you know, we were supposed to begin um, shooting Queering the Movie this past spring. We, we've done two seasons and right. we were selected um, into South by Southwest. And so that really set us on fire. And it's like, OK, are we going to do a third season or are we going to go ahead and do a, a movie? And we decided it was best to do a movie because it's a web series. And it's hard to pitch those to the networks when, you know, you've got a six minute episode, webisode. So we were all, all excited to do the movie, but you know, it's just not to, meant to be at this time, but hopefully very soon things are gonna, you know, settle down a little bit and we can get back to work. Dana. Oh, for sure, for sure. Have you got any calls for work or anything? I know that they started back and then it was a little iffy. Yeah. People were getting. Yeah, actually I had booked a recurring guest star on a show in Atlanta. And I was just thrilled. I had worked with this director producer before, and I knew that if anybody was going to really, you know, be on top of things with the COVID, it would be this guy because he owns his own studio. And but then also, even though I had a great credit, the the role was not that important to the scene. And I knew that he was going to have to go to more of a skeleton crew and skeleton cast and, mm -hmm. you know, could easily write my character out. And they did. He did. But they did say that they would remember me. So hopefully you were already cast. Yeah. Hopefully it will be for something bigger and yeah. they will be able to do without me next time. But um, yeah, there's nothing. I, yeah. I've done some of the monologue challenges that Cassie oh, fun. offered. I've tried to stay busy that way and very busy with my social media yeah. and the, with the fans from, from Cobra Kai, which is a karate kid. Oh, I saw it. It was hysterical. You were so funny. Okay. That sign. He goes, hold up the sign. And <laughs> all you got was the taco. You got the sign. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> She is, uh, Lynn, Homeless Lynn is quite a character. Yeah. And um, she's definitely the comic relief. And it's been a blast, an absolute blast. And the, 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 uh, I think the icing on the cake is when they, they uh, paint my teeth brown individually. <laughs> and then they go back and they paint dark brown in between each one. So I am, I'm hideous and it's just hilarious. Wow. Oh, is that how they black out the teeth? They paint them brown. Yeah. Individually, yes. Individually, oh, how nice. So you, you just see your beauty just disappear. Oh, you looked gorgeous. You looked yeah. gorgeous. You yeah. looked gorgeous. And you know, I just love your ability to just uh, to tease and to be comfortable and to be relaxed. And comedy's not easy. And you, and you, you know, and you really, you know, you were really so funny, so loose. Well, you know, it starts with the writing though. And, and the big three, that's what we call them. John Hurwitz, Josh Hield, and Hayden Schlossberg. They're, those three guys created Cobra Kai. And the writing is just hilarious. She's got so many great one-liners that the fans have adopted these one-liners. And we, you know, we hashtag them all the time. And tidbits? Just, is it the tidbits? <laughs> you want me to flash my bits? That'll cost you extra. We've got hashtag flashing my bits, hashtag no flashing my bit. bit. <laughs> so we got them both covered, Dina. Right. It's hilarious. It was it so is. good. It is hilarious. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Now, you were at the uh, actor studio and then uh, had you wind up in New York from North Carolina. Your mother was a jazz singer. I'll start from the beginning. Right. And then you born and raised in North Carolina and you just headed to New York to the actor's studio? No, no. Um, I was married, had a couple of babies and really had to, to 
just work part time on the acting because I, I had to take care of my children and I wanted to. That came first. Um, but as they got older, we we would uh, we would go to L.A. for pilot season every year. And my kids were in the business and we had a blast. And my husband's just been very supportive. And so I would go to New York and rent an apartment and study. And then as soon as the kids were out of the house, he let me rent an apartment. And um, that that last time, you know, like 15 years ago is when I met Zena Jasper and my my um my life started changing for the better wow. is there one particular thing that she taught you that no one else did that you think that you know a nugget that you know i i think one of her nuggets is is um you know she is a great detective mm. and she can take the the script or even the sides you know if i just get the specific sides for that i'm going to be auditioning for mm -hmm. and she will investigate and find these little nuggets in in the the dialogue mm -hmm. quicker than anybody i have ever seen mm -hmm. and and she likes to flip flip things you know she's she's big on don't be so predictable and and you know go to say something and then change your mind and then say the line. Do the opposite of what somebody would expe yeah. expect. Fabulous. I've heard, that, I've heard that, but she just brings it to life in such a way that wow. it's so real. Amazing. She, she's so... Um, I'll take that with me too. Yeah, she trusts. She just trusts. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you started so you started in 2014. In 2014. Right. Uh, the uh, the yeah. Do you hear me? I hear you, but all of a sudden I have a little echo. Okay, it's gone now. So <laughs> I'm a mess. I know. <laughs> look at you here, or look up at the button. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at you. I, okay, good. You're, okay, you're good. fabulous. I, as long as you look like you're looking at me, so that's fine. Right. You're all looking right. at me. So I'm looking good. at you. Yeah. <laughs> And I love that in the background. Can you see stuff in mine? I mean, I'm in my friend's okay? yard. I always shoot back here because I like the fresh air. It's beautiful. I love it. I love that white fence and that little wrought iron black there. This, that's the vegetable garden over there. That is so cool. I it's love my that. Best yard in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. So you're at your mom's right now. Well, my mom's, uh, she hasn't been feeling well. She had a, she had a, actually a surgery. She had a gallstone in between this major illness she has so oh, she got freaked out over that she's 81 but she's best she just called me two seconds ago we do the facetime Aww. uh but she's recovering thank you thank good. you so much good. i'm glad to hear that yeah so i'm not going back anywhere near la till i find out that she's you know progressing but uh, i don't want to go anywhere near la right now anyway how about you i mean what a shame i know it's, there's nothing it's, going on yeah nothing nothing going on so uh, you write, do you write uh, most of your work that you're shooting uh, in I your production company? Um, and I, and I, I, I like to write uh, song lyrics and that kind of thing, wow. but um, I like producing, yeah. but my first love is the acting, yeah. is, is the performance. So that's where my, my true love is. But I am involved with um, another film that we're in pre-production right now called 22 uh the unforgotten soldier that is wow. produced and directed by sam medina and if you google him wow. you'll go oh my gosh i know this guy i've seen him everywhere wow. and he's a good friend of mine and actually directed me in a television series a couple of years ago that shot in dallas texas hmm. no or new orleans or somewhere in that area but anyway so sam has a passion for PTSD and veterans and veteran suicide and that kind of thing. So we're, we're actually doing an Indiegogo campaign right now. And all you have to do is just look up Sam Medina and you'll learn all about it. So I'm very honored to be part of his cast and to be working with him on that. But I'm not producing it. I'm, I'm, he cast me as a cast member and I'm just trying to support him as much as I can. Oh yeah, I will, I will look it up for sure, for sure. And I will donate as well. because. Thank you very much. And you'll recognize him. He's a cutie and he is just a great guy and a great director and actor. Everything that I looked up on you that you was your side, Holly Hunter, the other guy, and I'm not going to be able to remember his name now. And I think it was the Lifetime movie. Kyle, I'm like, oh my Kyle God, Chandler? I too. Kyle Chandler or who? Yeah. You booted him. You gave him, you gave him the boot. With, but I was like, look at this. Every single scene she's in, she's like, I'm so happy for you. Just to, you know, uh, 
just to be able to the longevity, you know, and your and your ability to just, you know, play different characters. And, you know, I mean, it's not easy for women in the industry and, you know, it is not easy at all. And, and then you know, you are. I mean, it, it's a tough, tough business. Yeah. Tough. But you but got the my accent, passion. you got the spunk. <laughs> uh, well, I've got the spunk. And I think after all these years, I've probably got a pretty thick skin. Oh. You, without being jaded, you know, that's the key. Oh, that's the beauty. So you were a second degree black belt. So is that the key too? I said, I saw in your bio that you're a second degree black, black belt. Taekwondo. I never made it to second degree. I was halfway in, in training and halfway through for my second degree. And I hurt my ankle and I started getting these little cysts around my ankles. But wow. So your toes. And so I never did get my second degree, just to clarify that. No. But I haven't done it in, in um, like 20, 20 years. But now it's so funny that I'm it was in this trivia in your karate kid, Cobra yeah. Kai thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. So you develop thick skin and it, I think it's super, super important. Uh, which I, you know, I got to work on every day, not taking thing per things personally in this business. Right. You can't, we can't. You can't. Let it, let it go. Let it go. But we have to be around people like, like we're doing right here to support one another and, you know, to love one another and, and not allow either one of us to get too down or take it too seriously because, you know, it is a business yeah. and we have a life. Acting is part of my life. Mm. It is not my life because I do know a lot of people in this business, and I'm sure you do too, that have made acting or performing or whatever it is their entire life. Oh yeah. And that's a big mistake because you've got to have a life because it will eat you alive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's okay to, uh, to have a couple of things that you're interested in because I find that people that, you know, just like strictly in the industry, in the acting industry, my God, I, I mean, they go months and months and months, even the best of actors, everybody has peaks and valleys. It's very I, cyclical. Yeah, it's very cyclical. Yes, I can't even say the word. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. And right now we're all, you know, we're all on this, this ride that's, you know, I'm not going to say it's going nowhere. I'm going to be positive and put positive stuff out there and say it's coming. We're going to be very busy very soon. Because I'm used to working and at least traveling once or twice a month and auditioning several yeah. times a week. Yeah. So, I mean, I've tried to make the most of it and, yeah. um, you know, and still work and try to stay somewhat grounded and relevant. But what have you been doing? Well, this, this interviews. Yeah. My me too. Nugget. I've been getting on here and talking to people like you and because I'm super, 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 super busy all the time too. I mean, yeah. so I just, started this YouTube page a year ago and I started making like situation comedies and putting two or three people up there, but like nobody, everybody's too overweight. Everybody's depressed. Nobody wants to get out anymore. So I said, I, know. I forgot to do something. So I started the interview portion and it's been my pleasure, man. This has been awesome. This is what I've been well, doing. Yeah. I'm inspired just for your spunk to have the guts to do this. Thanks. Right. I appreciate so, it. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Thanks and it's so much. It's fascinating way during this whole COVID thing. I mean, the first month I went on this cleanse. I'm working out every day. I'm doing great. I'm losing, you know, five, six pounds. <laughs> the <laughs> second month, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to work. You know, I'm looking pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Forget it. Bring on the chocolate. You know, so now I'm trying to dig my way out of the chocolate and I you know, God, you see the top of everybody's heads on Facebook. You don't see their bodies anymore. It's like, put the food down. <laughs> Step oh. away from the table. Step away from the food. Step away from the food. Oh, I got, I have things here. Well, Susan, I really, really appreciate so much. So, so wonderful to meet you. And I oh, had such a wonderful yeah. time speaking with you. And I'm serious. Uh, email me if you really want. And I'll go see uh, Zena in New York next week. She would love it. And yeah. she is so cool. You you would love her. And she would love you. My pleasure. So thank, thank you so you. much, dear. Thanks so much. Take care. Ciao. Please keep in touch. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Great. Stay safe.